Welcome back, guys, to Paper Mario as we continue on with the peas attacking us and our exploration of dry, dry desert secrets. The one I've got to remember, of course, is three to the south, two to the west, if I remember correctly, from the stone cactus. We actually managed to dodge. Great! These guys only give a little bit of experience, though, now, so they're not really worth it. That spell that we got cast on us last episode pretty much allowed us to level up really, really fast. I wonder if it's going to happen every time we finish battle. No, only sometimes. Not really worth it in these cases, to be honest. Right, even more coins drop. Man, how many of you guys are there? Whoop! Ah, oh, come on. There's so many of these. I'll take them out nice and slowly. In the normal non-FP wasting fashion. We've got super powered up shelled friend, Cooper. We're all set to take these guys out nicely now. As long as we get the timings right, we're perfectly fine. I should probably get some more HP or FP off our next level up, probably. Got loads of badge points after all. Funny how we put literally every level into badge points. We've got one into HP so far, wasn't it? Or maybe two. Oh! The spell will increase the number of coins you win. By an absolute crap ton, but you're keeping me still for the thieves to come after. Let's keep looking through the desert. We can't actually go ah, ah, that way anymore, but we've gone free to the south, if I'm correct. So if we keep going west, we'll probably get to the secret that was mentioned before. Problem is, even with that knowledge, we don't know what the secret is if we don't know if we're in the exact right place. So it might be good for us to go free to the north again. Nothing here whatsoever at the moment. Lots of cactuses. And pokies as well. And my way, sirs. Trying to look for special things. Ho, oh, oh, ho! Ah, dodge! Right, this flowering cactus looks interesting. Not giving us anything, though. Run away! We know something special might be around. I mean, look, this is suspicious for a start. A rock all in its lonesome out here. Okay. We've got the attack FXC badge. Changes the sound effects when Mario's attacking. Well, that was weird. Is that the secret they mentioned? Well, let's test the theory. If we go three to the north and two to the side, we should find that out, I'm pretty sure. Ah, don't want to get hit. Oh, Cooper, you can go first. Time to use Power Shell. See if you really do do free damage. Nice. He does so much more damage, it's great. More powerful than Mario now. I do slightly wonder up if we can power him up even more. No, not going to use his dizzy attack at the moment, though. No need for it. Let's get moving. Oh, another dried fruit? I guess I'll throw a mushroom. Get a lot of these dried fruits now. Excuse me, sirs. Go collect those coins. There's some free coins for you. No enemy at all. Ah, another hurricane, whirlwind, whatever you want to call it. A three to the north should bring us back to the path. And then two to the east should bring us to the stone cactus if that was our directions. Oh! Lots of enemies, but we're just a little bit faster, which is great, unless the thief comes tearing past. Discovering the secrets of this place, and there we go, there's a stone cactus, so our directions were correct. And I nearly span right into that. 
shouldn't be so good. So let's find this Mustafa. Got more items? Let's give someone else. Ah, hello, sir. When you go southeast from here, you'll reach a beautiful desert oasis where lemon and lime trees grow. It's nice and cool. It's really the best place to have a rest, but many enemies plague the surrounding area, that's for sure. When you plan on reaching the oasis in one piece, be careful. We were careful, we got there safely. A little did we know that we would get a power up for a Cooper. Uh, uh dodged. Keep spinning. Back to town. Aren't we there yet? Finally back in town, right. Let's find out whatever secret's going on. Probably gonna have to talk to him again to find anything out though. Only those close to him will know. What do you want, sir? Someone who gives things is nice. Okay, we'll give you another mushroom. I thank you for giving things. To show I'm truly thankful, allow me to tell you something. What would you like to know? Bad try to learn how to get to Ruin's favorite food. We already asked that one, so we need to... You wouldn't tell me anymore. Yes, Mr. Mustafa. It's a descendant, yes. He's somewhere in the town, but exactly where only his close followers know. I can tell his secret, but only to the nicest of nice guys, so we have to give him another one after this. What is our lowest thing here? Bubbly cures shrink and poisoning and restores 5 FP. Well, we only, it only cost us 5 coins to get that. I thank you for giving things. Sure, I'm truly thankful. Allow me to tell you even more. How to get to ruins is the only thing that comes up still, so we need to find out even more. What's favorite food? My favorite food starts with an L and ends with an N. It's a yellow fruit, so sour. Aha! Lemon. Such a nice fragrance, this tree grows only in the desert oasis outside town. If you were to go to the oasis and get one for me, I might believe you're a true nice guy. For of course, only the nicest nice guys can be Mustafa. Do you still seek knowledge? We have enough. We know that you need the lemon, sir. We're going to go get it. We were already there as well, so we could have done it. Ah! If only we asked him something more at the time. We wouldn't have had to go back. We're straight south from town, two squares down. As long as we can dodge the enemies, we'll be nice and fast. Too bad there isn't like a run badge. And Mario gains super speed. Who'd have guessed it was there? Life stream. A life giving mushroom restores 10 HP when Mario's HP hits zero? That's amazing. It's thief zigging zagging. Don't see me, I'm going to the oasis. Lemon was this side, right? Excelente. Let's head back up. Our battle partner Cooper. So whenever we see a plot like that, we really should jump. Also the fact that we can let ourselves die and, you know, restore our entire HP, that's pretty immense. Oh hello, quizzical worm friend. You weren't there before, Kawiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizma! Want to try the quiz? Sure, we'll try another quiz. Then let's go to the question. Question. What is the color of the block you can break with the first hammer you got? It's yellow, yes? Yes, thank you! Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece! So you get a star piece every time for the quiz. You've correctly answered two questions so far. Good luck next time! Well, well, well so long farewell till we meet again! Bye bye! Yet another star piece obtained! Great! Maybe the trigger for that was getting the lemon. But to be honest, there's lots of bits around where obvious pipes are going to be, but we just don't seem to be able to get the pipe to just appear now. Someone who gives nice things. Now, do we give you the lemon straight away? Oh, heavenly, a lemon! The nicest of nice things. You have proven you're nice by giving me my favorite thing. And since you're so nice, yes, I'll tell you something really nice. How to see Mustafa. To find Mr. Mustafa, go to the shop in this town. First buy a dry shroom, then buy a dusty hammer. You must buy them in the correct order. Yes, remember, dry shroom first and then dusty hammer. This is a secret sign known to those loyal to Mustafa. 
you buy these things in the correct order, the owner of the shop will let you see Mr. Mustafa. Remember, you must not buy them in the correct order. If you still seek knowledge, you must give me something. No, we're fine now. We're the nicest of nice guys, after all. I wish you luck in finding Mr. Mustafa, nice guy. No problems, we will find him. ASAP, now we have the code. The key. Too bad he couldn't tell me earlier. But these all look like places for pipes to appear, but not appearing. Right then, do we actually have to check an item first, if you know what I mean? How many items do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Maybe we do. But we could just eat the dried shroom. Alright, thanks. We'll just eat that quickly. Nom nom nom. Now a dusty hammer. Dusty hammer will be two coins, sure. Alright, thanks. What ho? Buying a dusty hammer after a dry shroom? Is a secret sign that only friends of Mr. Mustafa know. That means you're in with Mustafa. Yes. Hey, brother. Good to meet you. How many questions do you need answered? Yes, who's Mustafa? Want to go see Dry Ruins? Yes, you want to see Mr. Mustafa? He's usually up on the highest part of Dry Dry Outpost. Just keep going up, my man. Up where? Okay, then let's have a look around. Not sure what we're going to be using that dusty hammer for, though. We'll just switch it out for a better item. I'm imagining it's not very good. See, we can just chuck it away. Aha! We can't enter it by just walking into it, even though the gap's open and we're made of paper. Okay, we keep going up. Is there anything else in here, though? Doesn't look like it. Right, let's go, Cooper. My battle-ready friend. Keep going up, they say. More mail, I say. No manny mouse on the road. Okay. Let's try and remember that. Let's go! Don't need parrot carry for that. Mr. Mustafa, it's actually you, the information broker, isn't it, sir? How do I talk to you? Hello. Hey, nice guy, we meet again. I'm glad you found me. I'm Mustafa. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about in Dry Dry Outpost, I use the name Sheik. It's always good to meet a genuinely nice guy. I meet people all the time, but you are by far the nicest guy I've met so far. Your name is Mario, yes? I heard that you want to go to Dry Dry Ruins. I have a feeling you are on an important journey, so I'll tell you the secret. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have washed over it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? You must promise me that you will tell no one this secret. I'll give you this. You've got the Pulse Stone. The closer you get to Dry Dry Ruins, the faster it flashes. This Pulse Stone is the key to finding Dry Dry Ruins. Take it to the desert, Jess. The Pulse Stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the Pulse Stone will flash. Repeating yourself, follow where it leads you. Find the place where the Pulse Stone flashes the fastest and use it to open the way. Right then. Time to con well, continue our search through the desert then. No matter what, it always comes back to that desert. But we need power carry really, so we can go, first of all, the mouse on the roadside. No Maddy Mouse. Do we actually have to continually use the item to be able to find out where exactly it is? Let's have a look here. Items, Pulse Stone. Okay, the closer you get to dry ruins, the faster it flashes. If you place it somewhere, the ruins will appear. This is a question in itself. I'm not sure how we get to see it flash, but I've to the thieves and find a Manny Mouse at once. Ah, okay. So we're getting closer now. First of all, we have Mel for you, sir. If you go southeast from here, you'll reach a beautiful desert oasis where lemon and lime trees grow, we know. It's nice and cool, it's really the best place to have a rest, but many enemies plague the surrounding areas. If you plan on reaching the oasis in one piece, be careful. Travelling no Manny Mouse, correct? The name is Paracari, I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. A letter to me from Mustafa? 
I've heard the name, but I can't remember who he is. Anyway, thank you for delivering it. I'm surprised that you found me way out here. It's extremely hot traveling in the desert, so take care. Oh yeah, take this as my thanks. Don't hesitate, please take it. Great, another star piece. How many do we have now? Let's have a quick check here. We are at 14, so we need another, well, 11. So still quite way off, really, but oh well. We're happy either way. Let's look through there. We've got a big, massive map. Let's change to our battle-ready friend. And I'm going to look upwards because, ah, okay, see? It definitely means we're closer. Wait a second, were those three trees in a triangle fashion? Great, right in the middle is something special. We've got the runaway pay badge. Let's marry your own star points even if he escapes from battle. It's kind of an interesting badge. Okay, it's flashing faster. But honey syrup. Check that away for now. No, we don't want to throw that away. Let's go, go forward. Don't go forward. Chuck this away. Throw it to damage one enemy, probably for one damage, if you know what I mean. Get rid of that. Oh, I just... Stop picking up me. Right then. Nothing above. Excuse me. I don't wish to be picked up by you, after all. But I do need more coins. Coins are always good. Any other blocks hiding around? Okay, there's another one. Nothing up above. I think we're supposed to be heading upwards, look. We'll soon find out anyway. We are nearer, that's for sure. I'm dodging you, sirs. Oh, okay, we'll fight you all. Oh, I got the, I made the first strike on the other one. How does that even work? Oh, we can take out one straight away anyway. May as well use you first then, sir. And then work on the other. Hopefully he won't summon an ally. But he is going to. And another friend to help you. And another friend that we will defeat. Unfortunately though, the amount of experience we're getting from these is really lackluster now. Do not summon another friend, otherwise we're just going to use Shell Toss next time. Really? I don't want to have to use FP at random. Oh well, here we go. Let's use it, sir. Power Shell! Stopping summoning unlimited amount of enemies. I think we're instantly going to get another fight here. Unless I spin away really fast. Spin, spin! Oh no! Ah, oh, dried fruit! We're even closer now though. Hello sirs, nice to meet you too. Okay, this is cool. Go away. Loads of you. Even closer now. And a place for it to go. Finally, the ruins are found coming up from the ground. Chomp statues abound. Not meaning to rhyme, constantly honest. We've thrown the land into chaos by the look of it. Nice lighting it has. We open up the location of the next star! So what do we have around the sides? Any secrets to find? Apart from restore a little bit of HP? There must be something else other than this that's been spawned. No, just these things? Well, with that said and done, 
we'll head inside next episode, guys. So thank you for watching this episode of Paper Mario. Join me for more next time. Bye-bye.